Hi guys, this is always back with another tutorial of AutoCAD Essential Training. In this video, I'll discuss object snapping. I've got a few objects here. I've drawn a line, circle, and rectangle. Object snap allow you to precisely connect objects using the geometry itself as a guide. So on the status bar, we got this option, object snapping. I click on it, and I click on this arrow button. So here we got a few options here. The first thing, we use endpoint. This is an automatically continuous object snapping option. So if this icon is blue, that means object snapping will be continuously on. So let's say I will check endpoint, midpoint, um, intersection. And now three, three of these options are automatically continuously on. So let's say I'll draw a line, all right? I start at the line. As if I go near to the endpoint, you see the cursor snaps to the endpoint of the line. We go to the mid, it snaps to the middle of the line. So it's automatic snapping is basically continuously on. So it depends on what options you checked on. Let's say if I turn on this nearest option as well. So now I've draw a line and I can draw a nearest option as well. So object snapping is basically this green icon. If it shows, doesn't matter how close you are, it's gonna snap to that point. So I start at endpoint, but our microsoft is not exactly on the endpoint of the line, and it still snap. If I click here now, it's gonna snap from this endpoint. So now we look at each options here. So what I wanna do, I wanna turn off everything, and I will use these options manually whenever I need them. So I draw a line, and now hold down shift key and right click, so you get the same options here. But these options for time being, these are not the continuous object snapping options. So if I select endpoint and start a line here, and now if I want to select this endpoint, as you can see that it does not snap to this endpoint. So I have to do is hold down shift key, right click, select endpoint, and it only works once. So you got to keep doing that. Okay, so now we took about endpoint, and now let's have a look at the middle point. So I can right click by holding shift key, select midpoint. Midpoint basically snaps to the middle of the object. Select the line command again, hold down shift key, intersection. To show you intersection, I have to draw another line. Let's say I draw a line about here. And I start another line command, right click with holding down shift key, and then select intersection. So now if I go closer to this, now it's gonna snap to the intersection of these two lines and I can start drawing lines. Okay, so now let's have a look at extension. What is the extension means? So let's draw two lines. I'll draw two lines about here. Alright, so now basically if I use fill a command and then fill it this and I'll use my point command by typing PO and make a point about here. Hold down shift key, right click, go on endpoint and about here. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trim off some portion of these lines. Okay, and I delete these lines as well. For now, I will hide this this uh, point. So I'll make a layer, make a new layer, say whatever name you want to do, color change it to blue and I want to change this point to this and I want to hide this by clicking this build button it will turn off that layer so now I want to draw a line but I want to intersect that intersection point I want to select that as well so I start a line command shift key and right click and then select extension so I will start from here and now I have to go to this point hold down shift key, right click Go extension again and that extension stay there and now you can see that green dotted line coming down and then I'll go to this extension and I come up so the point's going to be there as you can see that it's snapped to the extension we use the filter command to show you that what does it mean basically so I can click here so that endpoint is basically on the top of the point because that extended that point all right so let's have a look at another thing now I start a line command and hold on shift key. Let's have a look at the center. 
So to center, you have to use a circle. So start a line command. I'm going to start a line command from the center of this circle. What I have to do is hold down Shift key, right click, select center. And now, as you can see, I've got the center. Okay. So there's another thing I want to show you is line command. Right click. I'll start a line about here. But I want to draw a quadrant. Or hold down Shift key, right click. I've got a quadrant here. As you can see that if I snap to it, that's the quadrant of the circle. So quadrant is basically four points, south, north, east, west, on the 90 degree angle. So I can make a quadrant line to this circle. Okay, so what's next? We'll look at the tangent now. Let's have a look at the perpendicular first. I draw a line here. And I'm going to draw a line to perpendicular to this object. So start a line command by pressing fade. Hold down shift key, right click, select endpoint, start endpoint. And now as you can see, I cannot snap to it. I can hold down shift key, right click, select perpendicular. Now I can snap to the perpendicular literally to this object. So now you can keep this on and keep this object snapping on all the time. Object snapping on, press OK. This will turn it on. I'll check this, check this. So basically what I recommend you to keep on automatic object snapping from endpoint, midpoint and center because these are the most useful object snapping you will be using. You can keep it on perpendicular as well and intersection. These are the main basic object snapping used in AutoCAD 2D drawings. I've shown you nearest, nearest, keep it off because it's going to distract you by snapping to the main points. So that's it for about object snapping. You can, you can actually go and click on object snapping setting and you can choose these options as well. But it used to be in the older version of AutoCAD that you had to select by going drafting setting. You have to select all these object snapping mode. But now AutoCAD 2016, we get these options outside on the status bar by clicking this arrow button. So I'll show you a node as well. One thing about node. Let's say I'll draw a point. I've drawn a point before and I'll turn back on by clicking this bold button. And now I've got a point here. If I go DDP type command, I get this dialog bar. So I change my point style to this. As you can see, I've got a point here. So if I go start a line command and I want to start from this line, what I have to do is because node is off, I can check this on here it will automatically start from the center of this point. So I can start it. But in other ways, if you don't want to keep this on all the time, you can turn it off and you can use it at the time where you need it by holding down shift key, right click, select node, and you can start it from there. There's a few more options here. Let's say insertion. It's all about text. When you type a text, test, text, sorry. Um, when you type a text in your drawings, that's where you need to use insertion. I've shown you quadrant. I'll show you tangent as well. So turn this on and now draw a line to, I'm gonna draw a line about here, but I'm gonna select, see, that actually snapped to this circle, to end point of the circle. So object snapping, one more thing I wanna mention here that object snapping is about this green arrow. Once this green arrow shows, doesn't matter where your cursor is, if you click on it, it's going to snap to that tangent point or to any object snapping. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This is all about object snapping. While I start my practical project, I will use this object snapping and explain about this more in a later practical project, which is a host project. And for now, be blessed. And for now, that's it. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, I'll see you guys in the next